Hello, I'm back. In last week's video, I talked about the confusion that has arisen about hyperspace speeds in Star Wars. This is primarily due to lack of consistency about the size of the Star Wars galaxy, the distance travelled by the Millennium Falcon on its trip from Tatooine to Alderaan, and how long the journey actually took. Today, I want to discuss some of the speed figures that have been calculated for Star Wars hyperspace travel, which I've gathered together in this table. This uses the Essential Atlas Wikipedia canon size figure for the galaxy of 120,000 light years. As you can see, there are a wide range of speeds listed as light year per hour for ease of comparison. Fortunately, some of these are easy to reject straight away. For example, the three speeds listed here in the top half of the table are all far too low, which makes sense if you think about it. I mean, how can any ship, which is limited to these low speeds, cross a 120,000 light year diameter galaxy in hours or days, when the Interstellar Alliance White Star from the Babylon 5 universe is capable of reaching 85 light years per hour, but still needs seven weeks to travel the 100,000 light year diameter of the Milky Way? Next comes the 8 light years in 3.7 minutes figure from the novel Thrawn Treason, which Star Wars explained used for their calculations in the video How Fast Could We Travel Our Solar System and Galaxy Using Hyperspace. This resulted in the Star Wars galaxy being described as measuring 105,700 light years in diameter, notably short of the 120,000 light years listed in the official sources. So that's out. Below that, we have the speed of 521.12 LYPH from Screen Rant calculated by halving the fat wallet speed for the Millennium Falcon. I'm not entirely sure about the validity of their figures, as I haven't been able to find any details regarding their calculations, which is why I'm going to set aside their figure and the speed of 2714 LYPH, which I've labelled as coming from Goliath. Sorry. Then there's the 3600 LYPH figure suggested by Jeffrey Scott. Despite his logic of using one light year per second, I'm rejecting this as well, if only because of A, his longer class 1 ship journey time of 13 hours and 10 minutes, compared to the 7 hours stated in the Gazetta, and B, his statement that the Star Wars galaxy is 140,000 light years across. Yes, I have asked where he got his figures from, without any response. Next we come to the figures at the bottom of the table. First off, I freely admit that my own figure of 8,000 LYPH is decidedly suspect, as the small and very simple map, which I used in my calculations, had no clearly defined edge, making it difficult to accurately calculate the diameter, so we could safely forget that one. The Wikipedia figure of 28,800 LYPH seems a bit unrealistic to me, especially as it comes from talk page, so it couldn't be entirely based on the opinion of the original poster. In addition, multiplying that LYPH figure by the 7 hour journey time from the Gazetta gives us a Tatooine to Alderaan distance of 201,600 light years, which is 1.68 times greater than the official diameter of the Star Wars galaxy. As for the BBB dot Star Destroyer figure of 15,000 LYPH, a 7 hour journey at that speed would fit within the Star Wars galaxy, but the ship would cover 87.5% of the galaxy's official diameter which is over twice the Tatooine to Alderaan distance shown in the Essential Atlas. This leaves us with a Tor.com figure of 7,265 LYPH, which uses the carefully calculated distance from Tatooine to Alderaan, combined with the journey time from the official fact file Gazetta. So that's the one I'm going with. I don't know, this hyperdrive speed business seems as confusing as the selection procedures for political party leaders. I'll explain my current thinking about that next week, after we learn who the new PM is. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, feel free to like and share, and also submit comments and suggestions. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to be notified about new videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon.